Here we go, 931 now in New York City of Count, uh, City Council, rather, of Oakland, California, voting unanimously on a resolution for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza while rejecting a proposal to formally condemn Hamas. William Lajones follows up live in L.A. on this today. William, hello. Well, Bill, what you're referring to was an attempt to amend that ceasefire resolution to condemn the killings and the hostage taking by Hamas on October 7th. But the Oakland City Council refused, voting six to two not to condemn Hamas. And what stunned one Jewish councilman is how many of the 200 individuals who spoke blamed Israel for the terrorist attack and how the crowd booed whenever speakers mentioned Hamas raping Israeli women. One speaker compared Israel to a, quote, wife beater who complains when the wife fights back. Others described Israel as a genocidal colonial state. And one said Hamas is not a terrorist organization, but a resistance one. Condemning Hamas without condemning the apartheid state of Israel is basically encouraging genocide. We could have easily put forth a resolution condemning the countless, countless crimes committed by the Zionist entity. So outside, you had dueling rallies, but no violence. Remember, this is Oakland. Equal numbers of whites and Hispanics at around 30 percent, 22 percent black, 16 percent Asian. It's predominantly Christian, but Muslims outnumber Jews about four to one. Politically, the area is extremely liberal. If you feel the need, ah, I need to condemn something, then I suggest you start with condemning one of the most fascist right-wing extremist governments in Israel's short colonial pathetic history. So similar resolutions have passed in Detroit and about a half dozen other U.S. cities, even though they have no legal authority and no city official really ever got elected based on their political views of the Middle East. And yet councils still do it. Bill. Yep. <clears throat> and there you have it. William, thank you. Live in L.A. today. William Lodges. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.